Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another game of Age of Empires 2 between our newest players, Herr Acker and Der Vasal. After the last series, which uh, I hope that you all of you have watched, the players couldn't wait to uh, face off against each other again in another short best of three on Nomad. And we see that we're in the lobby with Herr Acker getting the Celts and Der Vasal getting the Mayans. Of course, these players are not too familiar with the civilizations and their unique bonuses, but I think they will learn fast uh, with each game they play. They will learn a little bit more about the game um, and about the civilizations, and I'm sure they will improve fast. Now, uh, we're in the game. It's Nomad, of course, so each player gets three villages uh, with which they can now uh, explore the map and look for a nice starting location for their TC. Um, Herr Acker in the blue, um, having his villages more to the center, um, around here versus uh, or against the Vasal, um, who has two villages out here and one over here. Uh, now in uh, Nomad or in these Nomad games it's uh, important to drop your TC rather early because you want to pump out these villagers immediately. So uh, ideally you look for a nice wood line and then place your TC against the wood line. Newer players often prioritize finding food first but I think it's more important to get your TC up and then uh, go from there. Now Der Vasal dropping a dock and this is a first for him. So in the in the past he waited with dock or didn't even drop a dock at all. But he has watched the recorded games or the, the casts that we put up on the Food Please channel. And now he knows that it is important to get a dock up. Herka already doing that and also placing dock right next to the shore fish to collect the fish with this one villager. So very nicely done for both players. Herr Acker now dropping the town center here on the wood line as we discussed. And this time it's right next to the trees. So the villagers don't have to walk too far. So again, he has learned a lot from the previous games. However, here he's making a small mistake. He should not run away with this villager. Uh, even though scouting is very important, it's more important to get this town center up quickly. And maybe he realizes this now. On the other side, uh, Der Vasal also dropping his TC, it's also right next to the wood line, but this, it could have been maybe a little bit better, maybe one tile more to the left. Uh, but I think that he also wants to uh, have direct access to stone for some potential tower uh, wars, as we have seen uh, a lot in this series already. Um, uh, now I hope that the game sound is uh, back on, because I think it was muted before. Uh, nevertheless, uh, now um, Herr Aka going for food uh, in the beginning, I think that's a mistake because he should prioritize wood to get a fishing ship as quickly as possible. Um, and also he forgot to build a house and that's also something that newer players uh, always do. And I think uh, Der Vasal will suffer from the same problem. And indeed um, he did not build a house yet, but now already putting down a house. So very nicely done from Der Vasal. And again, Herr Aka, what I don't like about his house placement is that it's so close to TC. So he's basically denying his own wood over here. So the villagers cannot access these trees directly. They have to uh, go for other trees. So I would have liked to, uh, for him to just put it maybe over here. Or if he realized this uh, a little bit sooner, to already do something with the house. For instance, start a small kind of wall off to one side um, or something like that. Uh, and uh, if we look at the civilization, so the Celts uh, have the very nice uh, wood cutting bonus, so the lumberjacks work faster. And I think that's another reason why Herr Acker should have gone for uh, wood in the beginning to get a fishing ship out uh, early. Um, so far, both players sitting at seven villages. Der Vasal now slightly ahead, and that might be due to this uh, early, uh, earlier construction of a house. Uh, and now he's already going for a second house because he knows he's at eight population. He will need to have a house 
the second house soon. Herr Acker on the other side, not uh, that preemptive with uh, his buildings. Um, he's uh, probably going to get house. Oh no, he did build a house over here. So I yeah. spoke too soon. Very nicely done by Herr Acker. Um, so these players obviously getting better. So I, I shouldn't be um, too quick with my comments because they prove me wrong all the time it seems. Um, now there was Al having an idol over here, but quickly retasking the idol to uh, take a little bit uh, or take um, more food. No, it's going. He's going forward with it, so he probably wants to go scouting with it uh, once he has built uh, this house uh, over here. Now there was all still uh, one, no, two villages ahead, and I think that's because he has a fishing ship out. So very nice uh, of him to go for uh, early wood to get the fishing ship out. Uh, whereas on the other side, Herr Aka, even though he has the wood uh, cutting bonus, does not have a fishing ship yet. And uh, yeah, that puts him behind. Um, now he's building one, and he will soon be able to build a second one. Um, but he also needs to build a house because he's getting house soon. So I think um, it's maybe a little bit uh, cleaner start from De Vazal even if he doesn't stop to produce now. Because um, that's uh, something that uh, we see from the Vazal. He's getting ahead, he has one villager more and then he stops to produce villages for a little while and then he falls back uh, onto the same level of Aka or even behind. Uh, now let's look at the scouting, which is very important in these Nomad games. Um, so Devazal already knowing the location of the TC of Herr Acker, and he's going for his, I would say, trademark strategy um, of a barracks on the other side um, of where his location is. So we've seen that also in the last series, um, and that will confuse Herr Acker if he does not know where Devazal is. And Yes, that's exactly what we see, Herr Acker, doing some scouting with uh, this cow over here, but not too much uh, scouting otherwise, so he does not know that Devazal is on this side. So once some militia come in, and I'm sure we're gonna see militia, because Devazal um, is basically the master of militias, having built more than 20 militia in one game in Dark Age on Nomad, so he will uh, produce uh, shortly, I think. Um, and once he comes in with these militia from the left-hand side, then Herr Acker will think that uh, Devazal is on the left, but he is on the right again. Um, so yeah, and again, um, that's something we have criticized before, and I think Devazal should really, really um, take this criticism to heart. He should build the farms next to his TC, because then the farmers are protected by the town center. Because otherwise, uh, opon opposition, the opposition can uh, come in from the back, attack these villagers, and the villagers have to run back to the TC, um, or can even be picked off. Um, another thing that he should um, always think about is um, getting loom. I mean, in this position, it's maybe not too crucial. Um, but once he wants to take a boar that's a little bit further away, or uh, if he wants to start his aggression over here, I think loom would be quite nice because this villager right now is rather weak and could be picked off uh, by an opposing villager from Herr Acker. Now uh, we talked about the militia and the first militia is already out. Uh, and also still in the villager count Devazal is in the lead. And again it's probably due to the earlier fishing ships but now it's four versus four. Um, Herr Acker making a uh, minor mistake here because he's going for the shore fish uh, which is not optimal instead he should go for the deep sea fish over here uh, because uh, there's a higher gathering rate uh, for deep sea fish uh, but that's only a small optimization as long as the fishing ships are working um, everything is still fine but it looks like the shore fish are running out or have run out and now all of these fishing ships are getting idle and i'm not sure if Herr Acker notices this uh, now let's go back to the action. Um, now we have four militia. I think Devazal should already start to attack. Um, he should 
uh, come in maybe uh, pressure this farmer over here which is also uh, already a little bit weak so something could happen here uh, Herr Acker now going for stone preemptively and I, I cannot blame him uh, because usually we see tower wars in these games now Herr Acker might finally spot uh, the position of their vassal so the uh, sneaky barracks um, might not um, be too effective in this case. Um, now losing of course uh, the cow to the uh, opponent, gifting 150 food um, to their vassal, but I think the scouting information is definitely worth it. Um, and now here we see uh, another problem, I mean look at this, three mills, I mean that's just wood that is wasted, that is thrown away down the drain, one mill is enough in dark age. I mean, you, you don't even need to think about new mill, mills until uh, castle age or, or maybe even imperial age. But look at the score, it's, it's way in favor of De Vazal. Um, uh, but the uh, gap has narrowed a little bit because Herr Acker has advanced to the next age. Um, and we see a big villager lead for De Vazal. So uh, interesting, um, interestingly De Vazal really uh, being able to uh, improve his game by a lot in a short um, amount of time. But now the Herr Acker is in the next age and he will be able to place towers whereas De Vazal is not. And that could be a decisive moment in this first game of the series. But he's, he's maybe too, too aggressive here. If Vassal uh, garrisons, he can pick off these villagers, but he does not react in time. And so the villagers can just escape and safely build their tower. And their Vassal does not react. Um, whereas on the other side, he did come in with his militia and they're now uh, attacking this house. Um, and now you see the problem if you're going forward with uh, three villagers and then show your hand basically, show your villagers, um, you can easily get forced off from your tower. Um, what you could do is wall in your villagers so they can build the tower. And now that's a dicey situation. Militia are in the retreat path of these villagers and one villager gets picked off of Herr Acker. And this does not look too great for Herr Acker. De Vassal now also going up to the next age. He needs to be careful to not waste all of these militia. Uh, but he can save too and now a defensive watchtower. I think that's way too defensive This does not accomplish too much. It's basically already within the range of the town center I I would love to see it maybe a little more bit more forward or um, Maybe even sneak a villager around the back and put a tower right here into the back of the wood line because your opponent won't notice until it's too late. And now uh, De Vazal also up to the next age. He is going for the Man-at-Arms upgrade and then five more Man-at-Arms. He loves his Man-at-Arms and who can blame him? Um, now in this situation the Kelt Man-at-Arms may be a little bit better because they're a little bit faster. Um, but of course Herr Acker first having to build the barracks and then he has a second problem and that is his access to gold. There is no gold near his base. He has two stone piles, one over here and the second one he could take over here, but no access to gold. And I'm not sure if he knows about any location of any gold. I mean, uh, yeah, he doesn't see this one. Um, yeah, he does not know uh, where gold is. And I think that's that's terrible. I, at this point, uh, not having access to gold, he basically has to go for towers. And now we see the problem with this watchtower. It does accomplish nothing. Whereas uh, if it would be, have been uh, more over here, he could have probably denied this uh, tower from their vassal. Now Herr Acker going for market, probably to buy some, some gold as he has no income. Um, so that he uh, can go up to Castle Age, which he will be able to do because he has a lot of food. But now look at this pressure from their vassal, uh, putting a watchtower over here in the back of the woodline. I would have loved uh, to see it a little bit more forward, maybe on this tile, because here he won't be able to reach into uh, these um, uh, to these trees. Now poking into the base of Herr Acker with a few um, men-at-arms, having more men-at-arms over here ready to strike. Yeah. Um, again, Herr Acker 
having this boxed in base everything fits into this small circle over here um, so yeah and now yeah, having to drop a counter tower against this tower uh, is Herr Akka, but he's getting shot and um, yeah look at this he should have just placed the first tower in a better position over here uh, which would have taken off some pressure uh, let's look at the villager numbers it's very even Herr Akka now leading with two villagers um, however, if you look at the military population, you see that we have 10 men-at-arms uh, for Der Vazal. Now the question is, um, what is he going to do with these men-at-arms? Because if you don't use them, uh, it's not really resources well spent. I mean, it's just a lot of food and gold just sitting around doing nothing. So at this point, you should have probably just gone to, up to the next age if you don't plan uh, to use these, uh, this military. Now Herr Akka should just garrison here to shoot down this tower because um, yes he will have more arrows shooting so he will be able to probably shoot down this tower but more towers are uh, going up and Herr Akka is housed so not looking great for him uh, whereas again Devazal due to his crazy aggression undisturbed at home enjoying his farmlands with the triple mill in dark age over here and now he's boxing in Herr Aka further and further watchtower here watchtower here watchtower here another watchtower going up um, this one not getting shot down because Herr Aka does not garrison he should just garrison over here and uh, meanwhile nothing happening on water I think these fishing ships are idle because they're not uh, seeming they're not collecting um, whereas the fishing ships of the Akka working again, but maybe he should just build one fire galley um, to clean up the fishing ships of his opponent, who, uh, which are now working again. Um, yeah, and more towers are going up, and this does not look too great for uh, Akka. I mean, he is going up to Castle Age, he will be able to build knights. Uh, which uh, could actually devastate the whole farmlands because as we as we have discussed earlier these farmers are just vulnerable the, the knights can just come in and pick up uh, pick up all of these uh, farmers uh, whereas if the, the farms were around the TC then they could just hop into the TC and shoot back at the knights uh, but let's uh, hope for Herr Akka that he will actually reach Castle Age because look at this pressure from Der Vazal and as we said there is no gold for Herr Akka so uh, luckily he has some villages over here which might be able to find the gold pile uh, right next to them um, uh, but no he does not know about the gold yet Oh, and I spoke too soon again because the Akka actually does have a fire galley, but he sent it the wrong way, unfortunately. Let's go back to the action now, finally uh, garrisoning this tower over here. But now look at this pressure. Okay. I mean, the wood line is basically denied. Um, he has to go into this wood line, maybe. Um, yeah, the farms will be denied soon. This farm, I think, is already denied. Now the men at arms are coming in. And um, yeah, I think they're they're not strong enough. They don't have any upgrades, um, so he just uh, yeah go back with them. Now I think Akka has to rush down this tower and this tower. I think he, uh, if he if he times this right, he can just uh, rush down both towers uh, without any opposition because the swordsmen or the manor arms are here on the left. But no. He is as vacating his base and is going to the stone and that gives his opponent the opportunity to come in with his men at arms and pick off these villagers but luckily he's running through the base of Herr Akka and all of these men at arms are getting shot down. And now we have the situation that Herr Akka is in the castle age so he will be able to produce knights once he gets some gold income um, going. Uh, but at this point he probably has to sell some stone or um, yeah as he's doing over here he's dropping a castle to regain some lost space but the problem is he has to build it and the towers are actually pestering his villagers yeah and they're all already at a very low HP so he probably will lose some villagers over here but he will get the castle up I think eventually if he focuses enough uh, with his villagers on that and he's putting a second castle up because he's has mined a lot of stone because he wasn't able to mine any gold 
and this castle will actually put a lot of pressure onto Der Vasal. Der Vasal still stuck in feudal age um, and now I think the game is turning around Der Vasal not utilizing his men at arms so he built a lot of men at arms uh, but he didn't do much with it and I don't think that those men at arms will do anything um, at this point probably a single knight is enough to kill two or three of them and if they uh, run into the TC um, then uh, they will just get shot down you see that yeah the knights are just so much stronger than the men at arms even if they're outnumbered uh, they can inflict massive amounts of damage. But now the castle of Herr Aka is up. He has killed two uh, gold miners over here. Um, and uh, the castle at home still not up. Um, because it's, as uh, we've seen, the towers are just relentlessly shooting at these pesky pesky villages. Um, but yeah, look at this. Devazal now at 29 villages, probably losing a lot to the castle fire um, versus the 47 villages of Herr Aka. So, uh, and Herr Aka now also going for a third castle. And uh, what he should do here is uh, produce boat raiders from the castle, I think, because they're very strong raiding units that can just clean up the farmlands over here. Uh, this is not a good move by Devazal because the ca second castle is in range and all of these villages will just get shot down because castles just one shot a villager if they hit all of their arrows, uh, as you can see here. So these villagers will all die and I think there's nothing left for Devazal and the game has turned around in the matter of minutes. These towers are down, castle is up, Eco is safe at home for, Deva, De, for Herr Akka. Uh, now a final raid coming in with the men-at-arms. Uh, but I think that uh, yeah, men-at-arms is just not the play in this case. Um, and uh, Devazal at this point he can just resign. I mean there's a castle in his face, second castle coming up. Herka uh, maybe should think about uh, a blacksmith uh, to research um, fletching and botkin arrows so that he can easily reach the TC. Um, but I think the GG will come in soon, hopefully. I mean, uh, Herka may be trying to throw the game by idling all of his villagers. I mean, he has 38 idle villagers. Um, yeah, they, they're just there. Um, Maybe he pressed the stop command or something. That's kind of weird. I mean, uh, so yeah, with 38 idle villagers, actually Devazal having a stronger economy than uh, Herr Aka. <laughs> so Herr Aka, I don't know. Is he is he AFK? Um, what is he doing? Is he giving his opponent a chance? Uh, I mean, all of these villagers just standing around, the knights standing around, the castle not being built, and now that the counter castle is up. And maybe I spoke too soon again because look at this. Look at what's coming out of the castle of Devazal. It's Pitards. And if he's smart and garrisons them first, now of course he doesn't, uh, but maybe he's, he's uh, gathering them. And uh, I don't know how many you need for a castle, but that could be a huge turnaround if you were able to destroy the castle over here. Uh, but I think even then the second castle is already up so Herr Aka obviously in the much stronger position he also has some knights uh, which he could use to raid <laughs> unfortunate knight over here being boxed in by the trees so he will not contribute in this fight anymore I think um, and now that uh, castle is shooting down the town center uh, of Devazal and yeah, I think um, the game is over already. I mean, it's 19 villagers against 50. Uh, even even if Devazal can destroy this castle, he won't be able to destroy the second castle, I think. And um, yeah, he should just call the GG. Um, nice attempt with the fire galley, but again, you should um, then try to send it the other way. Um, or at least patrol here, because then the fire galley goes back and forth and you might remember it at some point. Um, yeah, so we're just waiting for the game to end, basically. Uh, there, uh, Vazal trying to build another um, town center. Ah, that's, that's not enough. That's not enough. Um, and they will just get shot down, these petards. One going down, second going down. Um, yeah. And the castle is just about halfway down, so you, it looks like you need eight uh, petards to, um, yeah, better down a... Um, castle. Yeah, 
I don't know why these two players are still playing, but I think um, that's because of a recent game between Food Please and Gummibergrün, where basically Gummibergrün had the game, he had already won, uh, Food Please down to 20 villagers, uh, but then Food Please did not give up and he came back big and in the end he won the game to all of, uh, to our surprise. And uh, I think Demazal said something like, okay, from that game he learned that he should never give up. But now the Woad Raiders are up, and yeah, they can just, they took out a villager, took out a Pitard, and I think the Woad Raider already uh, paying for himself. Um, and now he will kill another villager. Um, and now Herr Aka even repairing this castle. And yeah, and it's soon he will be able to also go uh, think about going up to Imp. But interestingly, still no gold mine for Herr Aka. I mean, now he must know about this one over here. Yes, he should know about this one. But interestingly, that he interesting that he could actually be this strong in this game without any access to gold for most of it. And look at this Vogue Raider just going to town. 10 villagers for the Vazal. What are you doing, Vazal? Uh, and <laughs> you have to remember that it's also four fishing ships. So uh, he has now five uh, true villagers left. Four villagers. Uh, at this point, he will be defeated, actually. <laughs> yeah. Another villager going down. Four villagers left. And I think it's just those four villagers over here. Uh, now Pitar is coming uh, out for her Akka, but it's just, uh, yeah, they're just not uh, doing enough because he needs to save uh, the Pitards and then go in a big group. But he could actually just use the knights uh, to sit underneath the castle and take it down because murder holes um, uh, has not been researched by Dermazal. And now her Akka going for another castle, but he loses it to the Pitards! lot of stone wasted over here uh, but yeah there is just no way that uh, that Devazal will come back um, I mean he should just go yeah give up <laughs> I think um, because there's more games uh, to be played on this day and uh, I think he should just give up and yeah the Knights back at home um, they could actually try to clean up these towers, these pesky pesky towers, which still shoot the villagers at the wood line. Um, I think then there's one corpse over here and I think more villagers might go down uh, at this point. And look at this, I mean, where does Vassal get the resources for all of these petards? They're quite expensive, uh, but still it's not enough, it's just seven and uh, one will get shot down, a second one will get shot down. Um, so, and this one will also get shot down, so in, in, in Gen Defect only four really landing on the castle and so it's uh, again at half HP and the Akka can uh, again repair the, the castle if he so desires. Fire Galley still being parked over here, talking to the cow. Uh, not much happening, uh, yeah, if we zoom out, I mean it's quite a static game at this point, it's just some castles. Uh, which are shooting uh, each other, not not much else happening. And and still, Herr Akka, he's not taking gold, right? Uh, or maybe I'm, I'm not seeing it, but he's only taking stone, so maybe that's a challenge of his, to not mine a single piece of gold. And finally, Devazal calling the game. Going, let's go back to the map real quick. Um, yeah, it was uh, some early aggression, some very nice aggression of Devasal, but I think that he invested too heavily into the man at arms uh, and not did not do anything with them. They just he just parked them over here for most of the game, um, and that's just resources that you that you could spend. Um, uh, it, yeah, babies basically on going up to Castle Age or anything else, and it would be much better than spending it on uh, these militia and men at arms over here because the towers already did enough, it already boxed in his opponent, put him into a defensive mindset, and so he could have gone up to Castle Age, and uh, yeah, and then from there it would have been much easier to pressure his opponent. Hey, Aka, um, in the beginning, ah, he was uh, letting himself uh, again. Uh, 
get boxed in, put uh, up this very defensive tower over here, which did not accomplish too much. Um, he could have just used his villages to better down these towers, which were only built by a single villager, and the towers were also not walled in, so he could have get, gotten rid of them as well uh, as those towers over here. Um, but in the end, uh, very nicely done of him to uh, place these uh, castles here and here um, to really seal the game and then also go for some knights. Um, so well played to Herka and also Devazal. Uh, you have to remember those are newer players, but they're all already playing at a very high and nice level. Let's very quickly look at the statistics. So Herka obviously in uh, the lead and um, yeah, so um, let's look at the timeline. So very even game for a long period of time, but then in uh, Castle Age, once Aka was in Castle Age, um, yeah, it really was already over at this point. So Devazal, Devazal could have um, already called the GG there. Um, and now we see that uh, we have um, 1600 gold collected for Aka, but I think that was all bought because I did not see a single gold mine for his. So very nicely done. All right, then see you guys in the next game of this amazing series.